Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Denises and welcome back to One Year 365. And this is part 4 out of 10 parts of the protector of the uh, solar system. And yeah, this is a knockoff to Guardian of the Galaxy because uh, at the end of this part, uh, it's actually the same time, kinda, as the movie will be released in theater. So yeah, um, in cinema pretty much. So. Yeah, I just kind of want to ride with the tide, so yeah, uh, here we are, we are actually at the fourth planet, now we're talking about Mars, and I just, you know, kind of continuing from the Venus one in the part two, um, apparently Mars is kind of small compared to Earth, I just realized that, I thought that Mars is just similar close to Earth, like a, a one to one, but no, it's apparently not. That is very interesting. Um, in fact, Venus is way bigger than Mars, which is, again, another fact that I literally just knew within this series as well. So yeah, today we'll actually talk about Mars. Um, you know, like, uh, there is so many things, uh, so many projects already been done, trying to, you know, like, uh, trying to make Mars habitable so yeah I, I don't know like I mean I probably will talk about that after this as well uh, but yeah but first let's just continue um, let's just start more like it uh, we'll just do 10 minutes and then five minutes for what I think about Mars so yeah uh, let's start with Mars Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun and the second smallest planet in the solar system larger only than Mercury which is kind of insane um, if you think about it that Mars is actually the second smallest. I thought that, you know, it's at least bigger than Venus, but no. Uh, I thought that Mars is just one to one compared to Earth, but also no, uh, Mars is actually kind of small, which is again like a very surprising. Maybe to some of you it's not surprising at all, maybe you already know, but to me at the very least, it's it's a new knowledge for me. I just know that uh, I thought um, Mercury is the smallest and then after that it's Venus and then we have Mars and then Earth and then you know the the final three or four like Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Uh, those are like another you know bigger planet, but apparently not. So yeah, let's just start. Uh, not, not start, continue, I mean, uh, in the English language, also by the way, it's raining in the background, you can probably already tell, uh, by the raining sound in the background, I, I do hope my voice is still recorded properly, I mean, I will probably try to raise my volume, uh, so yeah, um, uh, I mean, it, it already happened multiple times in the past, and it was fine, so, yeah, I don't think it's it's a big problem at all. So yeah, but yeah, let's start. Uh, not start. Why do I why do I always keep calling start start? I mean, I don't know. Uh, okay, terrestrial planet, thin atmosphere and has a crust primarily composed of elements similar to Earth's crust, as well as core made of iron and nickel. Uh, surface features such as impact craters valleys, dunes, and polar ice caps, yeah, okay, uh, Mars has two small irregularly uh, shaped moons, which is called Phobos and Deimos, okay, there's two, interesting, Earth only has one, uh, this uh, Mars only has, uh, you know, now have, have has two, which is interesting, so during night time, you can probably see two moons instead of one, like Earth, so yeah, I don't know, maybe we'll see uh, an illustration probably or picture about the two moons, we'll see, okay? Uh, this is Mars seen by the Mars Orbiter mission, space probe in true color with regular Bayer fil filter, okay, so this is the true color, okay, which is orange, uh, brown, uh, barren, yeah, it, it looks barren, right, there is no water whatsoever to be seen, so yeah. Uh, alternative names would be the red planet, obviously, because it looks red, kinda. Uh, adjective will be Martian, okay, so it's for people that lives, uh, that live on Mars, which is called Martian. It's like, you know, in Earth, uh, or terrain, which is called, uh, Terran. Well, in Mars, it's called Martian, so yeah. Um, 
Uh, let's see here. Uh, orbital period will be 779 days or two years. Okay, that is actually a long time, which is interesting. Um, let's see here. Average orbital speed, yeah. Uh, inclination 1.8, yeah. Uh, 5 to sun's equator, yeah. Longitude uh, of ascending node, whatever. Uh, satellites too, uh, we just know that. Uh, mean radius will be 33,000, 3300. Okay, I think Earth was like 66 six something, I think. Or 45 something. Uh, no, it's actually 4.5, I think. Uh, 4500 zero zero or 4566 six or something. I forgot already. Um, yeah. Uh, equatorial radius, yeah. Polar radius, yeah. Flattening, yeah. Surface area, yeah. Uh, 0.28 of Earth. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I just know that, actually. 28% of Earth surface area. That is insane. Volume will be 1.15. That is 15% of Earth. Again, that is very crazy, right? I thought Mars is supposed to, you know, be as big as Earth, but apparently not. It's just barely 15% of Earth. Uh, mass will be 10% of Earth, okay. Uh, mean density will be 14%, okay. Uh, of, oh no, actually no, that is not true. I uh, mean density will be 4, actually, yeah. So it's kind of the same if you throw Mars on a lake, uh, in a lake, it will actually sink, it will not float, so yeah. Uh, surface gravity, yeah, moment of inertia factor, yeah, escape velocity, 5, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. Temperature will be minus 64, black body temperature, okay. Minimum will be minus 110 or minus 166 Fahrenheit, uh, mean. Average will be minus 60 minus 80. That is actually very cold and the max will be 35 degrees Celsius now that is unfortunate because um, Most most of the time it will be during you know the mean temperature right which is minus so We we can't actually live there just yet. We should make atmosphere obviously to trap the Sun's rays or sunlight so that it can actually, you know, preheats the planet, so that it kind of, you know, the the temperature actually increases. Yeah, this is probably one of the cases where we kind of want the temperature to increase like this because it's a little bit too cold at the moment, and we cannot live there just yet because it's too cold. Um, okay, let's see here. Do they have atmosphere? Uh, okay, they do. Okay, surface will be ooh. Yeah, that is unfortunate. It's only 0 0.006 ATM or about 0.6% of Earth. Yeah, it's very light. You, you, you know, like if you try to breathe in, you, you will feel nothing uh, most likely because, yeah. Uh, in fact, you will probably get sucked. Uh, your air in the lung will probably get sucked out because uh, of how low the temperature is. But yeah, um, I think this can be solved by making artificial, you know, like things like, um, I think you can actually, I have some ideas how to start atmosphere. First, you will need a lot of gas, right? Obviously, uh, which means you will need a lot of, um, what is it? A lot of gas to begin with. Uh, how, right? Well, the easiest one is by burning things. Uh, burning solid things like burning, uh, I don't know, like burning something, it will generate carbon dioxide, for instance, uh, and you know, the those air will float, right? And it will eventually create a layer of atmosphere, uh, and you know, because of that, the, the sun will actually, you know, get trapped a little bit, you know, causing a little bit of greenhouse effect. To preheat, uh, to uh, to heat or to warm the the planet a little bit, and yeah, the pressure will follow. Uh, it will increase by a little bit. I feel like that is probably most likely, uh, you know, like uh, to happen. I guess. Well, I guess I talk about Mars like right now. I mean, I guess let's just continue. I guess. Um, so, what do I think about Mars? Is it potential? Yes, it can. It can be like like I said. Uh, you you need to start the atmosphere first. Uh, you know, obviously you don't just bring, you know, nitrogen from Earth 
there that would be a little bit weird um so how do you get the gas right uh well again like i said you just burn things uh and it will evaporate and it will turn to gas and yeah a lot of gas accumulated it will form uh, atmosphere pretty much so yeah i feel like that's kind of you know like um the basic things right but obviously you don't want to fill the atmosphere with uh harmful gases because you know like uh well the point of that is so that uh, you can breathe you can you know like uh, have breathable air so you don't want to have something that is toxic uh, or you know poisonous uh, material or gas so so that you know you you can still breathe there so yeah um you know like uh, the question will be will human actually be uh eventually will human actually uh invade mars like will a terran actually became uh becomes martian you know like it just make tribes there make colonial colony there you know like uh, is it possible or not uh to me though um unfortunately i will say no um okay hear me out the the reason why is because it will take a lot of resource it will take a lot of time it will take a lot of yeah resource pretty much and how do you get resource to go there well obviously you got the resource from earth uh however um is it actually you know like uh is it actually wise to you know to steal not to steal but to carry things from your home planet and you know move it to other planet i feel like it's a little bit you know contradictory um you know because you you kind of want to search for second home right um so you know uh, i feel like they should probably try to get themselves some uh you know resource from the planet itself so yeah um yeah like maybe they try uh i think it's possible they can try to find some volcanic mountain you know active volcanic mountain in mars and on mars i mean and you know they just somehow i don't know like maybe throw some bombs and then you know the the volcanic mountains there will i don't know like will react and yeah um it will release lots of gas right i mean that is possible so yeah uh i mean that is another one uh you know with explosive pretty much but obviously again you don't want the explosive to actually destroy the planet because you know you will actually live there so you know you always use like um what is it like use safe uh non-hazardous uh material for that i have no idea if that's possible or not so yeah uh let's continue here uh this is the atmosphere what else here um i mean i guess if you ask me will 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 human eventually invade mars or live on mars i don't know i feel like i don't want to sound very pessimistic but i feel like realistically speaking i don't think we will live in mars uh, unfortunately so yeah um if it actually happens then it will probably be few hundred years from now and by then we're already gone uh, we're probably already turned to um you know like fossil fuel i don't know but yeah uh anyway uh, that's just my take though uh, a little bit pessimist i don't think we'll ever eventually go there i kind of doubt but there is always you know hope right one can always hope uh, so yeah um anyway we already talked a lot though about mars uh let's just see here uh what about the the duration let's see about the duration of the orbital uh yeah uh let's see here uh orbit and rotation okay here we go physical characteristic uh let's see this first comparison earth and mars yeah okay uh yeah this is kind of insane right like i said i just found this like previously uh on the Venus episode um i thought mars and um, earth um is kind of similar in size but apparently not um, so yeah um, yeah i mean that's just that right i mean um, yeah um, 
Oh, this is the map, the geologic map of Mars. Okay, didn't see any, you know, water over there. Or maybe even, you know, I don't think any of this represents water. Not even the blue color. I don't think that's water. Um, the polar ice cap, though, probably that can be considered as uh, water. Probably, I don't know. I mean, that is still water, right? But it's in the North Pole, so you need to somehow uh melt those water and it becomes a uh, ocean i mean that's a possibility so yeah um what else here uh mm -hmm. soil okay curiosities view of martian soil and boulders after crossing the tingo cap okay uh hydrology what is that Martian plain covered by water ice. Uh, okay. Precipitated through entering to dry ice. Observing by Viking to lander. Oh, this is the, the ice cap in the pole, I think. I have no idea. Uh, and then there is this one. Obviously, like I said, the blue color doesn't doesn't necessarily mean water. So, yeah. Um, okay. Water in its liquid form cannot exist uh, due to low atmospheric pressure. Which means that it will turn to gas after that. Um, okay. Uh, uh, if melted, would be enough to cover the entire surface of the planet with a depth of 11 meters. Ooh, that is uh, kind of unfortunate. 11 meters. I don't think. I mean, you can, you can, you know, have some boats, but I don't know. I feel like. It's a little bit too shallow, uh, 11 meters. I mean, if you're on a cruise ship, um, you know, your ship itself, the, the part that is underwater is, you know, probably uh, close to 10 meters or even more than 10 meters in. I have no idea. So, yeah, it's kind of unfortunate, right? Um, so, you can actually just swim there uh, without worrying too much but 11 meter is still high though don't get me wrong it's like a three-story house right yeah it's like a three-story house um which is which is not you know not that shallow but still compared to earth where there is um you know there is uh what is it like a trench right like trench that can extend to a few kilometers down downwards which you know, compared to 11 meters, compared to thousands of meters, obviously, right? So, yeah. Um, what else here? Oh, what is this? Uh, North Polar, early summer, okay. South Polar, midsummer ice cap, yeah. Uh, interesting, though. That doesn't seem like a lot of water, I would say, but still water at the end of the day. So, yeah. Um... A cross section of underground water. Oh, actually, I forgot about that. Underground water. I mean, I don't know. If you pull out underground water to the surface, well, I feel like eventually water will seep through filling in the gaps, right? So, yeah, uh, getting water from underground doesn't make um, doesn't make the amount of water increase actually because um, you know, like a uh, the other part of the water will e eventually fill in those area if you you know um, try to get water from there so yeah uh, geography and names okay what is this uh, oh what is this uh, highland red and orange dominating the southern and then lowland which is blue okay that is uh, interesting interesting for sure but yeah uh, huh it's actually lightning storm right now in my you know in my house in my country uh, uh in my region so yeah um i don't know terminology of martian geological features unfortunately the picture is not loading obviously because uh because uh, again like i said the it's actually lightning storm right now and the internet is just not that great so yeah yeah in fact as you can see over there the connection is limited now uh it's kind of unfortunate but yeah, let's just continue. Let's just continue first. Um, Viking 1 image of Olympus Mounds. Uh, the volcano and related terrain are approximately 550 kilometers. 
Yeah, uh, unfortunately, the, oh, okay, there you go, that is the picture. Uh, that is the Falcon, volcano. Uh, what about this one? Uh, terminology of Martian geological features. I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, it's not loading, I guess. Let's just skip. Uh, what about this one? Tectonic sites. Yeah. Uh, holes and caves. Okay, that is interesting to mention here. Uh, the caves. Okay, so they also have cave system as well. I mean obviously right is there any planet that doesn't have cave system um solid planet by the way not gas planet i mean gas planet obviously doesn't have cave system but you know what about solid planets i feel like every solid planets uh kind of have um some sort of cave system one way or another so yeah this is atmosphere okay uh mars lost its magnetosphere four billion years ago Possibly because of numerous asteroid strikes. Ah, I see. So, okay. So, basically, because of the asteroid, uh, they got destroyed. And, yeah, they, they you know, the, the atmosphere got destroyed as well in the process. So, you know, now it's gone. Not really gone, gone, but more like it got destroyed. That's why the atmosphere is kind of, you know, not existing uh, compared to Earth. And, yeah um that is also why the you know the temperature then drops because of the pressure i mean the temperature being uh, i mean the pressure being low right so yeah uh let's continue here uh escaping atmosphere on mars carbon oxygen and hydrogen okay don't know what that means uh what about this one this is climate okay uh dust storm interesting and what else uh okay they, they only have dust storm as uh, weather which is okay i guess um no summer no winter unlike earth yeah like i mean the more i look up about mars i feel like the more difficult it is to actually colonialized um mars which is you know kind of unfortunate but yeah whatever uh november november june and september okay what is this locations of the opportunity and curiosity rovers are noted huh i see okay uh orbits of mars and other inner solar system planets okay uh that is the earth the <laughs> mercury as you can see there mercury just you know just spinning by itself you know minding their own business uh <laughs> interesting uh habitability and search for life um no there is no life there i don't think so uh if there is any, you know, like, they will probably still in the evolving, uh, you know, like, phase. And maybe the asteroid actually, you know, messed up with their um, life form, you know. Uh, every, everything dies because of that. Probably, you know, like, no evolution whatsoever. Uh, I mean, it's possible, right? I mean, when the dino dinosaur dies, um, you know, like, uh, some, some things, right? Uh, it... Like the, the, the animal from the water, right? That, you know, um, uh, what is it? Like, uh, I don't know, like, uh, are, um, uh, what is it? Like, um, become the, the star during that time, right? Like, become common. Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe that's true. Maybe that's not. Um, obviously, you know, after that, the, you know, things evolve even further, right? Uh, what is this? Scoop of Mars soil. Okay um uh, i don't know uh do do we have mars soil actually i have no idea uh maybe you know uh, nasa has the answer there like do we actually have physical you know like a sample of martian soil or uh, if you know if it's uh, possible or not maybe it's uh i don't know like maybe it's actually limited we cannot bring anything from outside, you know, just to avoid contamination or something like that. I have no idea, but yeah, I kind of wonder, but um, I guess the answer is maybe no, just because, you know, to avoid contamination. Maybe there is some uh, alien stuff there that are, you know, dangerous, uh, who knows. Uh, moons, okay, moons, they have two, I believe, yep, they have two, uh, Phobos and Deimos, okay very interesting how the moons don't actually look like our moon 
it's not perfect round as you can see this is kind of not round and what is this this looks like triangle actually uh triangular circle i have no idea but yeah uh apparently it's not circle okay um interesting let's just continue exploration yeah i mean mars rovers right already there um yeah what else uh mission okay mission to bring human there obviously i mean it's, it might be possible but you know to to you know to do something there i feel like it's kind of impossible so yeah uh viking okay uh what about this one in culture yeah oh what's that the war of the worlds okay so this is uh the the, the you know the the fiction movie i think also the book as well i think but yeah um yeah i guess that will be it for this one that is the end uh, of mars oh we already talked a little bit too long actually but yeah i don't know it's fine probably but yeah anyway i think that'll be for this one that is about mars which is the fourth planet from the sun after the earth so yeah tomorrow we'll start with the gas uh planets not really tomorrow though i kind of don't know when this the next video will be out uh, is it like literally directly tomorrow or maybe a few days from now I have no idea, but I guess you can kind of find yourself tomorrow, but uh, stay safe, stay healthy. I will see you again tomorrow with another discussion, My, maybe continuing this, maybe not, I have no idea, but until then, see ya!